Hi, I'm Muskan, the mobile product manager here at Fix. Today I'm going to show you how to work with assets in a mobile app. When I navigate to the assets feature, we see the asset hierarchy. Right now, we are viewing the top level of the hierarchy. Because this first asset here has child assets underneath in it, the app shows view sub-assets button. When I click this button, the app shows the sub-assets. To view this assets trial asset, click sub-assets again. You might have noticed the icon with the counter to the right of the asset name. This indicates how many open work orders are associated with the asset. The extractor currently has two open work orders. I'll talk a little more about these work orders later in the video. Let's take a closer look at the extractor within line 1. To view more information about the asset, I just have to click in it. The first tab we see is the Details tab. At the very top, even before the asset name, we have the picture of the asset, which makes it easier to identify. Next, just below the asset name, we have the online toggle. If your administrator has granted you the necessary permissions, you'll be able to switch this toggle to indicate whether the asset is online, as it is now, or if it's offline, meaning that it's not currently up and running. If you have the ability to edit the assets, you can click these fields to change their details. If you are viewing equipment, as we are here now, you can change the manufacturer, model, serial number, and description. Let's change the description of this asset to extractor. If this were a facility, you would be able to update the name and description. Since we are talking about editing assets, let me show you quickly how you'd configure it as an administrator. We'll jump out of the mobile app here for a second and go into web app to show how you'll enable that. You can see here that we are in the user groups feature settings. We'll click the user group we want to grant permissions to. Then we'll go to the page permissions tab. I'm going to select asset in the drop-down list, then select checkbox next to has save button. We also need to go to the API permissions tab where we will grant change permissions for the asset field. After I click Save, those users will be able to edit asset details once the mobile app is synced. Next up is the BOM tab, where the app lists the bill of materials for this asset and the quantity that is available for each part. You can also search the list if you want to find a specific part. As I promised earlier, we are back to the work orders now. If I want to find a particular work order, I can search for it. I can also view closed work orders by switching this toggle to display them. On the Files tab, you can upload helpful files about the asset, like its user manual, for example. Similar to adding meter readings, I can click the plus button and upload a new file. Last but not the least is the reading tabs. The app lists any readings that have been recorded for the asset. I can add a new reading here by clicking the plus button and entering the readings. I hope you enjoyed learning about the assets in our mobile app and I'm looking forward to show you more about our apps in the upcoming videos. Happy fixing!